The Feast of the Goat. Hey there, book lovers. Welcome to Snaplit, where we summarize the best of literature. Today, we're diving into one of the most critically acclaimed works of the 21st century, The Feast of the Goat by Mario Vargas Llosa. This book is a historical novel that explores the dark side of political power and dictatorship in the Dominican Republic. It's a gripping tale of power, betrayal, and tragedy, and we can't wait to dive into it. Before we get into the plot, let's talk a bit about the historical context of the book. The Feast of the Goat is set in the Dominican Republic, a country that was under the dictatorship of Rafael Trujillo from 1930 to 1961. Trujillo, was a ruthless dictator who ruled the country with an iron fist, suppressing political opposition and dissent through torture and violence. His regime was marked by corruption, oppression, and human rights abuses, and the people of the Dominican Republic lived in constant fear. Now, let's talk about the author of The Feast of the Goat, Mario Vargas Llosa. Yosa is a Peruvian writer and journalist who has won numerous awards for his work, including the Nobel Prize in Literature in 2010. He is known for his political activism and his outspoken criticism of authoritarian regimes in Latin America. Yosa was inspired to write The Feast of the Goat after a visit to the Dominican Republic in the 1990s, where he witnessed firsthand the legacy of Trujillo's dictatorship. The book was published in 2000 critical acclaim, and it has since become a classic of Latin American literature. Let's dive into the plot of The Feast of the Goat. The book is divided into three main sections, each told from the perspective of a different character. The first section follows Urania Cabral, a successful lawyer who returns to the Dominican Republic after a long absence to visit her dying father. Urania's story is intertwined with flashbacks to her childhood, when she was the daughter of a high-ranking official in Trujillo's government. Through Urania's memories, we learn about the corruption and violence of the regime, and the toll that it took on her family. The second section of the book focuses on Trujillo himself, and his inner circle of advisors and henchmen. We see Trujillo through their eyes, as a paranoid, ruthless leader who is obsessed with maintaining his grip on power. The section culminates in Trujillo's assassination by a group of conspirators, led by some of his former allies. The final section of the book explores the aftermath of Trujillo's death, and the power struggle that ensues among his former allies. We see how the dictatorship crumbles, and how the people of the Dominican Republic rise up to demand democracy and freedom. The Feast of the Goat is a book that explores many themes, including power, corruption, violence, and oppression. It shows how authoritarian regimes can destroy lives, and how the legacy of dictatorship can linger long after the regime itself has fallen. The book also explores the psychological toll that dictatorship takes on those who are complicit in it, and the ways in which people can resist even in the face of overwhelming oppression. So there you have it, book lovers, The Feast of the Goat by Mario Vargas Llosa. This is a book that will keep you on the edge of your seat, and make you think deeply about the nature of power and dictatorship. It's a masterpiece of Latin American literature, and a must-read for anyone interested in the history and politics of the region. We hope you enjoyed our summary, and that it has piqued your interest in this incredible book. We encourage you to pick up a copy and dive into the world of The Feast of the Goat for yourself. It's a book that will stay with you long after you've turned the final page, and we think you'll be glad you gave it a chance. Thank you for tuning in to Snaplit, where we summarize the best of literature. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll be diving into another classic work of literature. Until then, happy reading.